Coming up, we're going to be swimming with some turtles in Cebu, Philippines. Some sardines also. Checking out this hand. Checking out this statue. Yeah. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, y'all. So first thing is finding the turtles, which everyone and their mom is looking for the turtles just like us. So fortunately, we had an amazing guide. We was able to find this bad boy. And he was very photogenic, or she. So this turtle is quite large. You probably could see how big it is compared to our bodies. But this experience, like the whale sharks, was amazing. Just being able to swim with this creature in this, in this natural habitat, I guess, and observe it so close. Probably something most people won't get to do. Also, the same issues with the whale sharks are you gotta swim. You gotta be a fairly good swimmer to get these shots, to get these videos. You gotta be able to hold your breath, even though I got my snorkel gear, I got my, I got my flippers. And if you're not in good shape, you know, holding your breath and moving around may not be the best thing to do. Also, there's coral on the floor, so you can't really walk, so you gotta make sure you keep your feet up. So one, you don't damage the coral, and two, you don't hurt your feet. I think right here, I almost stepped on a turtle. I'm so happy I did it. <laughs> All right, so over here is the sardines. Now, the sardines are further, further out in the ocean. Like, I don't think I've ever been out in the ocean before without a flotation device. But with our guide, he kind of gave us tips. We had a little, a little, uh, flotation circle to give us like the rest but man this was just as, as amazing as the sharks and the turtles just seeing these creatures but the sardines are way further down but same thing gotta hold your breath be a strong swimmer and shout out to orange what up <laughs> and uh man this is also a good experience um in Cebu Philippines never thought in my life I'd be doing something like this and then there's a coral run where, you know, the photographer helped us, guide us how to take cool shots swimming over the coral with the little Finding Nemo fishes. And the same thing is, you know, you don't want to step on the coral, it's gonna hurt, and you don't want to damage the corals in the process. All right, y'all, so next trip, we're gonna see the hand. And this is a hand sculpture. Kind of looks similar to other Buddha hands in Asia, but uh, this is the Sierra Flower Garden giant hand in Cebu City, Philippines. So you can check it out. It got other sculptures, and this is my favorite. This is probably one of the best statues I've ever seen in my life. It's the statue of Lapu Lapu. Lapu Lapu killed Franco Magellan, the Magellan, the, the guy who's supposed to make the whole trip around the world. He killed the colonizer. So he basically repelled the Spanish and the statue was located where it happened. Um, there's also a mural uh, kind of depicting of how the battle went down. And this statue, I don't think the picture does it justice. It looks amazing, it looks like a superhero. And I think it's excellent that they memorized this guy after all these years of, I guess, an achievement of killing a colonizer all right guys man this is my quick vlog in Cebu Philippines don't forget hit that like and subscribe I'll see you on the next one